Let's get right out to that breaking news we've been following out of the sports world today. This morning we learned NBA legend Michael Jordan reaching an agreement to sell his majority stake in the Charlotte Hornets to a group called the Buyer Group. All right, so listen to this. They're led by Gabe Plotkin, who's been a minority stakeholder with the Hornets since 2019, and also Rick Schnall, a minority owner with the Atlanta Hawks. All of this comes after talks. The potential sale has been around really for months now. Sports director Nick Carboni <laughs> joins us now on the phone to break this all down for us. And Nick, take us behind the headline. I feel like a, a lot goes into uh, a decision like this on, on both sides. Uh, why, after 13 years, is Jordan selling now? Well, I think it's a significant uh, piece of news, guys, but it's not surprising. It was three or four years ago that Gabe Plotkin bought a small share of the Hornets from Michael Jordan. That was kind of a breadcrumb at the time of something could be coming down the pike. You fast forward to this year, and NBA teams like the Phoenix Suns, for instance, sold for $4 billion. Michael Jordan bought this team for less than $200 million about 13 years ago. So from a pure business standpoint, you got to think this made a lot of sense to Michael Jordan. Now, he's not going to get all of the $3 billion that's reported to, to be involved in this sale, reported by ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski, because he is remaining a, mi a minority owner, as you mentioned. But from a pure business standpoint, this probably made a lot of sense for Michael Jordan and those around him to sell this team now because NBA team valuations are so high and so much higher than what he bought the team over a decade ago. Was anybody talking about this before, Nick? Did this come as any surprise to you? Not at all. This Plotkin group uh, that added Rick Schnall, the minority owner of the Atlanta Hawks, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, it came out that they were talking. And at first, Michael Jordan's camp kind of hedged on that and, and said they don't, they don't address any speculation or rumors. Well, then a couple of weeks later, they came out and said, yes, we're talking about it, but nothing is imminent. But in my mind, because these two lead buyers, Plotkin and Schnall, were already in the NBA, right? Their, their personalities are vetted. Their money is vetted. Everything is already vetted by the league. I thought that once this was going to go down, it was going to go down quickly. And here we are, six days before the NBA draft, which Michael Jordan is reportedly still going to be involved with before he sells the majority share. Uh, and the team is being sold. So there's a lot of unknowns for a lot of people in that building, I'm sure. And it comes at kind of a precarious time for the franchise when they have so much on the court to look into over the next couple of weeks and now a pair of new majority owners. And, and so the, the business side of this aside, the finances side, uh, the personalities aside, practically speaking, what's this going to mean for the fans? Well, I think a lot of fans as much as they love Michael Jordan, the basketball player and the community leader, I mean, he's done so much for our community, especially in the last five or 10 years. I think a lot of them were tired of his ownership of the team. Uh, the team has not been competitive year in and year out uh, since he bought the team and, you know, prior to that as well. But I think a lot of folks around here thought that Michael Jordan buying the team would attract big time free agents. And as a winner himself on the floor, he would know how to put together a winner as an owner. And it just hasn't come to fruition. But I think the important part is, you know, he is going to remain a minority owner, but also a presence with the franchise. When I talk about that community aspect and what he could mean to this franchise, to the team, to the city, though not as a majority owner calling all the shots, I think he could still mean a whole lot. And the NBA, now they, are, they don't have any black majority owners with Michael Jordan exiting. So I think it was important for the NBA to keep Michael Jordan as, you know, kind of a face or you know, some sort of presence with the Hornets as well, because that's a big loss. But I think on the court, I think fans are going to hope that these two new owners are going to be aggressive and make winning moves uh, when they take over. All right, Nick Carboni for us on the phone. Nick, we know you have uh, much more tonight on the news starting at four. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys.